Oh, I've got the wrong screen up. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> and welcome to Photography Out Loud. My name is Paul Davis, and as always, I make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's, that's uh, good one. As always. And I'm, I'm Joel Longbe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I also make mistakes. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. It's always wonderful to have you here. Please let us know that you're watching yeah, live. Uh, drop us a hello in the comments. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna need to start making a tally of all the wrong things that I actually do. So. I think we'll run out of paper <laughs> between the two of us. <laughs> Joel, Joel, it's yeah. only Christmas. It is. Yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, Do you like Christmas time? Love Christmas. Yeah. I mean, especially with kids. Yeah. I've got two little kids, so. Like life is very exciting for them both and seeing the joy and excitement on their faces and they don't know anything about what's happened this year either. So Christmas is is great. Like it's just, yeah. yeah. My always... son gets chocolate every day. <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we bought him a Lego advent calendar as well. Ah, oh, right. So he gets cool. a bit of Lego. So every time I go home, I was like, daddy, 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 my new cool thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's certainly, and uh, I'm sure some of the viewers that are watching here as well can understand how much joy we can have with reliving Christmas through uh, through uh, your your children. Yes, which is always cool. Yeah, I'm very very similar. My kids are a little bit more grown up, but yeah, so you just had a picture of her, her of her uh, yeah. briefly. Yeah, so a little sneak peek. Helen Smith says cute pic, and yeah. Steve says that was a lovely picture. Evening chaps, <laughs> and a Christmas tree emoji, a snowman emoji, and a Santa emoji. Yes. Hello, Helen and Steve. Good yeah. to see you both. Thank you very much for joining. Um, yes. So um, we're going to do. I don't know whether it's something different, sort of fits into what we do, sort of give yeah, advice out of, of what we do. Um, but this episode, we thought we'd uh, share some of the uh, photographic ideas that you can uh, that you can do o over Christmas. So we're going to share what we do over Christmas as far as uh, photography related. Um, and I can also... tell you what else I do. Eat a lot of food. Oh, yeah. And normally see friends and family. Yeah. I, I, I always schedule in an afternoon nap at Christmas Day. Like an old man. Yeah, I love it. You got like a pipe and slippers. Yeah. It, it's definitely and like, a wing back armchair. <laughs> I've eaten too much. I'm just going to sleep it off a little bit. <clears throat> but you make the Christmas dinner, don't you? I will be this year. So you've like slaved over a hot stove. So yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I will be this year. So yeah, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> like my wife do that. She but I, I enjoy, I enjoy the cooking. Yeah, and that's yeah, something that we're going to mention on 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 this episode. I'll as happily well. help prepare, but I'm not really. Great at cooking. It'll be like a, a, a two day thing. So it'll be like cooking over two days to uh -huh. like get, get the get the meal ready. You can do red cabbage. I'm gonna do some uh, I'm gonna nice. do everything. Everything that I've practiced over <clears> the <throat> year. You've got like the goose fat for the potatoes. It's it's on the list. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I do like goose fat. Or or beef dripping mm. on the potatoes. Oh stop it. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, we're also uh, excited to hear uh, what you do over Christmas time, yeah, photography related or non-photography related. Yep. Uh, so anything that you're doing over this Christmas or you want to share what share, you've done in the past, <laughs> share some of the uh, experiences or uh, your you best photographic um, thing over Christmas. Yes. Yeah. So please share or something that you really want to do at Christmas. Yeah. yeah like for instance, it's not direct Christmas related but I'd always wanted to go to London for New Year's yeah. and when I was in uni I managed to make it happen that oh, was a cool. very cool experience yeah. so yeah with all the like fireworks and everything yeah, yeah. Around, so. and I was like right by Big Ben yeah like, I think that's on my to-do list at some point cool. as well so very cold there <laughs> definitely mm. make sure you take a thermos flask yeah I think so. that's on my on my bucket list because it certainly amazes me sort of watching it every year on, on telly as well, so, yeah. which, no, is, cool. uh, uh, which is good. It's so, not crazier than you expect as well, because you kind of have to get there early enough before they close the cordon off. Oh, right. Okay. So if you get there too late and there's too many people in there, they just you don't you know, have chance. Yeah. So, no, I'd, yeah, it's cool. And I think um, the great thing about Christmas, at least photographically, is the visuals of Christmas. Yes. Obviously, you can't capture the smell. Yeah. Of Christmas, there's definitely a smell to Christmas, isn't there? In terms of well, it is you in my house. Blast it into a <laughs> no. jar and seal it up. Yeah. <laughs> right, look at these pictures while smelling Yankee Candle, Candy Cane Lane, or whatever it is my wife puts yeah. in the uh, candle thing. 
Yeah. That's definitely a Christmas smell, isn't it? But, but Terry's yeah. chocolate orange? Yes. Yeah. Nuts? I don't like nuts. Oh, man. Get the nutcracker out. Yeah. you got to have like a, a bowl of nuts. I mean, you? it's all about pigs and blankets for me. <sighs> Why do we always talk about food on this episode? We're just absolutely obsessed. <laughs> that, that's our next uh, video. <laughs> yeah. Cambrian photography does food. Yeah. Nom, nom, nom. Just, we're just going to sit here eating. That'd be time. great. Could you imagine the... Um, the expenses bill for that video though yeah and I oh, was... hey put in the comments if you think we should do around the world in photographic food related yeah subject <laughs> food related <laughs> that we get to eat yeah exactly <laughs> getting paid to eat food i know that sounds amazing <laughs> right let's go to some of the uh, things before we start drooling anymore ian says hi paul and joel best wishes to sarah and you both for a happy christmas and hope 2021 will be well improved Thank you very much. And happy Christmas. Same to you. And yes, I definitely hope that 2021 is an up. So, and um, David Metcalf says, Friday so soon, no work until Monday yet. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, evening chats, Friday so soon, uh, two days of rest. Ooh, yeah. I don't get two days. You get two I days. I do this week. Yeah. yeah. I got Saturday and Sunday <laughs> off. <laughs> Winning. Yeah. No, it's cool. Like I, um, I like the weekend, even though I have to work on a Saturday. Yeah, I enjoy working the weekend. Got some well. printing to do tomorrow, yeah. so that'll be fun. I always like printing, yeah, customer stuff, obviously. Yeah. Hi, Debs. He says, afternoon. Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining. So, um, so shall we stop talking about food and yeah. start talking about more photographic-related things but unfortunately, in the form of pictures? There will, there will be food-related, actually, oh. in the video. As Why? Well. Are you going to photograph food for Christmas? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's that's one of the one of the things that we'd like you to try. So, um, but no, I mean, do you take pictures at Christmas? Is it something that you you do? It's one of the main things I do at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love documenting Christmas because it it it's like almost perfect. Apart from weddings, which I'd say is just slightly above in terms of that reportage style, that I love to photograph. So. Yeah. I get to take pictures of like my family, my kids, which I feel is like one of those things that everybody does in some form or another, but I really enjoy that process because I get to capture the memories and moments that hopefully we'll get to share in 50 years time and they'll be able to look back on with fun memories and remember all those great Christmases that they had as kids. Um, and like I said, it's just a visual like cacophony of like interesting things like there's lights everywhere it's like christmas paper wrapping paper everywhere yeah there's a tree there's there's always just like something interesting going on and somebody's like tried to put a glass where there's like loads of presents and yeah. there's like this really weird um kind of combination of images that can be created and you have the ability to do like wide shots where you get all of your family and friends who are with you at christmas not this year but and um, like past years and hopefully future years. And then also you can like really get into that, even cool macro, because you can go into the abstract of getting, yeah. you know, interesting bokeh on the Christmas lights. And also then it's not even inside. Hopefully you get to go outside if you've got like a new bike or yeah. well, my kids might get like a new tricycle or something, those types of things. And you go for a Christmas walk or a Boxing Day walk. It's, yeah. Just one of those things, isn't it? So. And it's, yeah, it's, it's very, very similar for me. So I, I love the uh, documenting side of things. And um, though maybe sometimes I'm thinking, should I bother? You know, 100% always should. I, should. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, always pick up that <clears> camera. <throat> and even if it's just for five minutes, personally, I do, uh, I, I don't have the camera around me sort of all day. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say, right, I'm going to just do five minutes of photography now and then put the camera down for a little bit um, and then I sort of go back to it but I'm so <coughs> glad that I do um, this was uh, no. this was this still is <laughs> uh, this is my daughter uh, she was two when I took this photo she was eight now so and crazy, it? it was just a little moment captured um, <clears throat> as we were putting up the decorations for Christmas uh, I think it was the first time that she really engaged with sort of helping out so we're getting the Christmas lights I love how on. you say helping out. Yeah. A two-year-old with Christmas lights. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it was constantly like dumping those in. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, no, it's very nice. It's just like, oh, you know, why are these in a ball? You know, why are, are they shining? Why are they shining? Why are they flashing? I love how you've managed to get the light to really like yeah. 
Illuminator it was just a, it was just a moment. And also the jumper as well. Warm, fluffy jumper. No, it's, it's so fluffy. Absolutely great. Uh, I just love this image. And at the time, I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's pretty good. But once again, it's one of those things where it probably stands up on its own as a nice image. But for me, it means so much more. Yeah, Because uh, it takes me back to that moment of uh, when when she sort of first discovered. And you're never going to get that moment steps. again, are you? No. There's never going to be time when she's two years old getting to see lights again for the first time. Definitely Although, not. Although, you should try and rec recreate that, like, every so often yeah Christmas. Would, that'd it, be cool it would be cool like maybe every like 10 years or something yeah, yeah that'd be really cool and then obviously She's due another one in four years then. yeah <laughs> and then obviously you've got things like Christmas Day as well so I mean certainly when you've Whoa. got children <laughs> it's uh it's uh it's a lot easier to sort of capture those moments um uh, there's lovely smiley ones I want to know what's got. in that present the massive one behind it uh it was a big Wendy um uh, Wendy House. Wendy House thing. Wow. So it was really, it was really nice. That was massive. So, but yeah, no, this was definitely, um, I think Millie was uh, four at this, maybe five. What present has um, she opened? It looks like a Pikachu. Yeah, something, something definitely Pokemon orientated. <laughs> um, but, you know, really starting to engage with, you know, like where presents come from, like the real excitement. So where this do they come the, from, Paul? Uh, Father Christmas, of course. Yeah. Nowhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, my bank balance doesn't <laughs> suggest that Santa bought much. Yeah, no, he uses your money. Cool. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, Santa does it for you. Okay. It's magical, isn't it? Oh, he that's very money. kind of him. <laughs> Personal um, assistant in buying. But it's very much about uh, capturing the moment, and especially of the year, of, of such excitement. And I think this picture just sort of shows that uh, excitement sort of... Uh, in, in the photograph, which was uh, which was quite nice. Oh, I've done it again. There we go. Pushing wrong buttons. Why am I struggling with button pushing? No idea, mate. Uh, I think I caught something off you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Apparently, there's something going around. <laughs> what stupidity! <laughs> All right, we will leave that conversation. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, once again, it's just a case of. Um, we all know this year has been very difficult and uh, going forward into Christmas uh, is going to be, you know, slightly different again. It is yeah. going to be the year where maybe some traditions get broken, which is um, never a nice thing. Yep. But from that, we can sort of double down and really try and enjoy Christmas with the ones that we're actually spending it with as well. Yep. So, um, and some Or just take great pictures to make other people jealous. Yeah, exactly. The fact that you've got really yep. uh, nice whatever you've done. And I think documenting, you know, uh, the year that you really try and, you know, concentrate on just having a nice small Christmas and taking pictures of uh, whoever's in your household at the time um, is going to be something that you want to look back on and, you know, see as a positive. Mm. So uh, documenting your Christmas, your holiday season is something that we both recommend and something that we do. Yeah, I think both from a photographic standpoint, just get to practice yeah because you can practice on the various uh, different subjects but also i think it's part of the innate um ability photography has with making images or capturing images whatever you want to use and the memory making side of it which yeah. i think well we deal with it a lot don't we people bring in black and whites or shots that have been worn by the sun or some of these per use it as a coaster or whatever yeah. but people those those pieces of paper have so much attached to them yet they are just pieces of paper mm. but no other piece of paper i don't think can elicit such a response of your like, pure joy when they see it yeah redone and it's like it's all been restored or it's just been printed nice and big or it's been printed and we've added color back into it and it just looks like it did the first day they saw yeah. the picture yeah and that goes along with whether you print or not, um, just having pictures, even if they're on your phone or a laptop or in yeah. the cloud, wherever. Obviously, I think prints are even better because you get to physically hold them. But just being able to see pictures, like I've been looking back through some pictures because we wanted to recreate um, a shot we took of my son when yeah. it was his first Christmas um, for my daughter. And just going back and seeing it, like yeah. it's so cool to see what he looked like when he was little. You know that you need to 
maybe sit away an hour to actually go and find this photo because you know that you're going to get stuck up on yep. just going, oh, that scrolling memory past all yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's lovely. I'll, I'll spend like a whole night, you know, I'll just accidentally fall into a so photograph into your then, Lightroom catalog, yeah, and then just sort of stay there nicely. So creating those memories uh, is is really something that that we we <clears throat> urge you to try. Have a yeah. go with. and maybe also as we go through some of the different things that you yeah. could try. Maybe one of your things should be to print them yeah. um, or to catalogue them effectively so that they're easy to find next year or in 10 years' time. Um, send them to family and friends, you know, those people that you saw 10 years ago and you think, oh, it'd be nice to send those to yeah. my friend who I'm not going to get to see this year or haven't seen in a while. Like, you use the power of the image to bring joy to somebody yeah. else. Um, it's not going to cost you anything. Especially if you don't print it and you just forward it via email or WhatsApp yeah. or other ways of sending me like <laughs> be available. <laughs> but I've been thinking about it more because my grandparents asked for pictures of their great grandkids. And it's so easy now just to send the WhatsApp or an email. And like I know that they're super pleased to be able to see their great grandkids. So there's other people that would love to see the memories that you've got yeah. of them from the past. So, so it helps out a lot. And printing, like, oh, I'm thinking like an album of Christmas might be like my little project. Yeah. Just capturing different. Over, over the years. No, just this, oh, just, just just this, this year. Christmas. And just because yeah. it's quite a special year in a roundabout way. It's a, yeah, it's a different <laughs> it, year. It's different. And, but I think it's special in the sense that you've had to think more about it. It's not been yeah. quite as, oh, yeah, we'll just all of us will go but yeah, well, to somebody's house for Christmas. We, yeah, we're at home this Christmas. And, uh, you know, we're going to try and put in extra effort you know into into everything that we yeah. do so it will be a special Christmas at the Davis household so there you go. yeah yeah <laughs> um, but there are other things that you uh, that you can try uh, yes. over the Christmas period that are Christmas orientated as yeah. well so and um, we found a lovely little article on um, uh, techradar.com not sponsored mm. uh, <laughs> Always uh, to put that other, in other tech <laughs> websites yeah. are available uh, but they had a, had a didn't um, Angela Possibly. I'm sure she was part of that. Yeah. No, so, side note. But actually, great website. Uh, and they've got this lovely um, how to section. And they've got sort of how to uh, to do some Christmas ideas. Um, what about pressing buttons correctly? Wow. <laughs> Couldn't find that one. Couldn't find the button for it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, one of the things that really interested <clears throat> us when we, uh, when we found it was. Um, that you can change the way that uh, your bouquet looks Ooh. in the background. What, what was it? Have yourself a bouquet-licious Christmas. <laughs> have yourself a <laughs> <laughs> Why have you not got glitter in your beard? Oh, I should do. That's not... Oh, no. No, I'm not going to say it's not for me. <laughs> Too late, mate. <laughs> um, my wife's trying to get me to put glitter in my beard. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. Hashtag... <laughs> Joel. <laughs> but no, the, uh, Bokalicious Christmas, like there is something magic about Boca. And the fact that you can be this creative with Boca, because ordinarily it's just a round ball, which is cool. Yep. Especially around Christmas. Like it's just one of the like baubles around. But to be able to put Christmas trees or other shapes in, yeah. add something that this image wouldn't ordinarily have, would it? It's yeah. And it's it's really easy to do as well. Uh, you need a fairly long lens to actually do it. Got a cut and stick. And uh, some. Oh, long oh ah, come on, goodness Davis. me! Uh, then you'd need uh, some some black card, uh, some sort of knife of Ooh. some description. Uh, <laughs> Crayola scissors for you. Well, no, you need to like a, an exact knife or something to sort Stanley of cut knife. out. Stanley knife. Scalpel. Um, scalpel. Um, so, something that's going to. Oh, you could out. make a, a snow a, a snowflake without having to use a knife. You could if you folded the yeah yeah circle. Oh, I've never seen a, a uh, one of those. There ones, you go. But... Show us the boker. What are we call in these? They're like gobos or something, aren't they? Yeah, essentially they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Show very that. very similar to that. Um, and um, <clears throat> what you do is you get the uh, your lens cap of the lens that you're actually using, and you would uh, essentially cut out the circle that would be the right size for your okay. lens. Not cut um, out the lens. No, don't cut out the lens. <laughs> cover. 
draw around the, the hell lens. of a soldering iron yeah. trying to melt a hole in it. Draw around the lens <clears throat> to get a circle that is the right size for your lens. Uh-huh. Um, and then you can make any shape that you want uh, within that. And uh, you're going to get some, you know, some really cool effects. So like a 70 to 200 would be ideal. Yeah, I think a lot of places online, they say like around the 70, 80. Oh, okay. um, and you sort of use half of the circle. So I think some people went too big and it didn't show. Uh, you do need to do a little bit of cropping apparently afterwards because you're not using the whole of the lens. So, um, okay. so something like, you know, towards the top end of a telephoto, uh, around the 85 is where you want to be aiming, uh, fully wide open. So it doesn't matter, really matter sort of, you know, what lens that you have. Uh, obviously if you've got something like a 1.8 or a 1.4 lens, uh, I can say if it's a, a, stuck at F8 or 5.6, yeah. it's not going to be doing much, is it? So, but generally, you know, uh, any particular lens at 85 mil is going to produce those sort of bokeh shapes um and you're able to turn those into lovely christmas trees um, and this is something that you can do inside the house uh or when you're out and about sort of taking pictures because that's the other about... thing about christmas isn't it yeah. it's the only time really where everybody or not everybody but a lot of people tend to do something so whether it's a like a private property you know somebody's house has often got christmas trees or like some by me have like completely covered their house in Christmas lights, which is awesome for the kids. Yeah. And also now, I suppose it doesn't cost you an awful lot because it's uh, LEDs. But um, then the the other thing is like shops like us and you know down the high street, you can find a lot of shops that have put a lot of effort yeah. into making them Christmassy and stuff. And I think that would be a cool image as well. Yeah. Um, and always the council put up lights on the. Uh, the lampposts and yeah. stuff. So, so they're, they're things that you can photograph on their own uh, because they do change every year. Uh, maybe not so much <laughs> in Colwyn Bay, but yes. uh, maybe in other places they do. Um, but um, so as their own right, they're very cool to photograph, you know, uh, only thing that you're going to see at a certain time of the year. Uh, they may change from year to year. So actually making that document of mm. uh, what's actually available is cool. Uh, but also lots of lights around to try that bokeh effect as well. So uh, whether it's just that circular bokeh that you're after with with no sort of go-go on the front of it, uh, or put a little shape on the front of your lens and uh, have a play. You know, it's just something if you wanted to try. Be cool. You don't need to. <clears throat> it's just there if you want to. Um, but yeah, a, a great reference to how to do the full steps uh, is on the uh, uh, Tech Radar yeah techradar.com uh, how to section of that that's where we found those images as well cool. so cool um other things that you uh, might want to try and this is going back to food now that is the problem <laughs> so um is if you enjoy cooking like myself then yeah, uh just enjoy eating it yeah or you know you, you may want to do both or you know, no, I just want to eat the it, food oh. and then maybe eat it. Oh. Yeah. I quite often photograph people cooking. Well, there Christmas you go. Dinner. That's something else. Because I'm not doing it. But <laughs> what what I'm what I'm going to try this year because I've never done it. So this is something that I'm going to be doing because I'll have a little bit more time on my hand than I normally would every Christmas. So um, is that I might photograph some of the uh, steps in the cooking procedure. So and then make a book. Not a recipe. Book. No. Oh. But just sort of maybe stop halfway through. Photography and... out loud, there's a recipe book. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, dear. <laughs> um, but maybe stop halfway through and sort of take a picture of, but arrange it a little bit. So rather than just getting my phone out, I'm just going, yeah. oh, as like a reference shot, um, essentially going in there and taking it with, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. So allowing myself uh, sort of in my cooking time uh, to actually uh, to actually do that, and then at the very end as well. So once I've finished making what I won't be making as mince pies because I don't like them. Yeah, let's bring up that conversation for clickbait. <sighs> why? Um, why do you not like mince yeah. pies? But it's a, it's a great it's a great thing to photograph, especially this time of year. They're a great thing to photograph and a great thing to eat. Yeah, and uh, you can go to town on them, so you can get little bits and bobs around. Now you're going to tell me you don't like turkey or chicken. Oh, know. my life. No, I, I love both of them, actually. Okay, good. So, uh, 
that's something that you can definitely try. So rather than just going, oh, I've made some mince pies, snap with your phone. Oh, I've made some mince pies, grab your camera, maybe put the rolling pin next to it. Ooh, what some... about a mouth bite out of the mince pie? Mate, anything can go. A bit of crumbling pastry. Yeah, just have a play. So, you know, in, in, enjoy the whole process. The other thing you could do, once you've finished taking pictures of your gobo on the front, yeah, you could use that as one of those put your uh, yeah, sugar right. through so that your little t -t 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 make it shaped. Yeah, that'd there be awesome. Go. Somebody who doesn't cook. See, full of full of useless. useless. Full. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. You're right. The first time. <laughs> uh, and you know you it. Try. <laughs> uh, so lots of things there, um, but also as well, you know, uh, it's it's just an potentially something that you can add to the experience of enjoying it. So um, once again, if it's going to cause too much stress and you don't want to do it, it's fine. You know, this, these are suggestions, hopefully, to uh, help you enjoy Christmas Peak a little your bit your Christmas photographic interest. Yeah, but I, 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 do, I do enjoy it. And um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. So I'll be photographing maybe sections of the cooking and I will be sort of arranging... Uh, the Christmas dinner on a plate very nicely and photographing it because why not? Oh, you're not going to be like, Dad, why is the food cold? I might just do it with my own. <laughs> Dad, it's cold. <laughs> why? But I will be We're trying. photographing it. Look at these Instagram-worthy pictures. The other thing you can do is that normally we, uh, we normally make an effort with things like the, uh, the Christmas table and things like that. So uh, photographing, once again, comes a little bit back to that documentary sort of style of things, but um, how the dinner table looks. Uh, once again, it's something that probably won't look the same next year mm. uh, or the year after. We tend to change it up quite a lot. So making special memories of uh, things that is going to change is always nice, as we said before, to look back at them. Uh, <laughs> something to do um amateur hour over here. <laughs> something to do when um someone else might be cooking mm. i'm guessing you do the table layout job yes i do i try to learn a new way of folding the napkins nice have you done the the dovetail probably oh, i've done all sorts confident <laughs> just go on google and yeah. find out the youtube instructions so i i think that there should be the eiffel tower this year mm, interesting mm. I kind of want to make them out of Lego. Okay. Well, maybe you like can... Play settings out of Lego. Can... Oh, well, there you go. Because we've got a Santa Claus and a Mrs. Claus, you know, the... What are they called? Big heads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or brick heads. Brick heads. Yeah. And then we've got a reindeer and two elves. There you go. Full set. So, that'd be cool. But I think um, it's interesting, again, because I, we mentioned weddings briefly. It's almost like going to a wedding in some ways. Like... The table's made up. When else is the table made up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless maybe for a birthday party. Um, but still, it's quite a fancy birthday party to go to a place where the table's made up. And then, like, people just chatting and food. And it's quite similar, isn't it, in yeah. a lot of ways? And I, we both love that buzz of um, weddings. And I think it'll be interesting. I, you've made me think a bit uh, from our conversations about um, photographing Christmas. I'm going to try a few different things this year ah, compared to normal. So. See, our inspiration is even... I'm almost wondering if I, if I want to force myself to shoot square. Oh, yeah, that's another... Although the Sony doesn't allow you to shoot square, so you kind of have to... Only just 16 by a bit of tape now. on the back of your yeah, screen maybe. It just leaves gooey marks on the ah, screen. Dear me. And you got to measure some, it to be perfect. I'll buy some anti-goo stuff. <laughs> anti-goo. <laughs> It'd be too late by then. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, train of thought gone now <laughs> again. Uh, you can. I've already signed off for the weekend, haven't I? Yeah. What was but, I going to say? I don't know what you were going to no. say. But um, taking pictures of yeah. parts of what make Christmas Day without people is one thing, but then also with the people, I think is interesting as well. Yeah. Obviously, you've shown pictures already, but also those times like old man over here having a nap, things like that make. <sighs> interesting pictures i think yeah. um i suspect there's going to be a picture of me and my daughter who's like 10 months old having a nap 
having a snooze. Yeah, a Christmas just snooze. On, on yeah, there, definitely. Yeah. yeah, lovely times. Mate. I feel like I'm just going to make that shot whether I get a nap or not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's brilliant. Um, the other thing that you can try, and it's something that we've mentioned before, and uh, I think you did a little bit on a recent workshop as well. Yep. So, uh, which is uh, light painting. And if you've got an Olympus, you literally have no excuse. Yeah. Because live comp and light painting were a marriage made in Olympus photographic heaven. Yeah. It is awesome. And um, it's pretty much, I own Olympus just for that. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> it's it, so it, good. It makes it so much easier. Uh, it really, really does. But uh, then focusing it around a Christmas theme, mm. so you can make like a Christmas tree or some Could stars. you do a combination you of the go and light painting? Yeah. That would hurt my brain a little bit. So that might be a little bit too much for me. But anyone that's really tech happy, then you, you may want to try. I that. feel like I might um, uh, get Lewis to give it a go. I feel like that's something yeah. he'd be into. I mean, he goes live more than we do. He's probably running out of stuff to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> But no, light painting is one of those things as well that it's not going to be a five-minute job. No, no. You could easily spend a couple of hours doing it and getting really creative yeah. and getting some really good shots and building up as you learn more. Like this shot, obviously, with the different colours is yeah, like next level, isn't it? But and I think, once again, family orientated. It can be. It can also be something that you can enjoy doing on your own as well. So uh, if you wanted a little bit of time <clears throat> on yourself just to do something... Uh, you know, it, it's something that you're still going to enjoy either by yourself, but once again, with family, you can get people, uh, you can get people in on it, and you know, create something together. And I would definitely say if you involved sort of members of your family to do something like this, especially kids, uh, it would definitely be something that they remember. Yeah, as well. So Ooh, you've as, got me thinking as an experience of, uh, of the only that problem Christmas. is I don't want to give my son what looks like a lightsaber. Okay. Well, just a torch yeah. is fine. Mm. So you're thinking of stealing the pavos behind <laughs> us. <laughs> I definitely am. <laughs> right. Well, we did Back it with one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we went on the Gareth Morn workshop, he had one of those pixel stick yes. type things. And it's just great the sort of effects you can get out of. We didn't go into it in massive detail because it was quite a clear night. But there are some very cool effects to be had and, you know, ways of illuminating objects that ordinarily wouldn't be possible or you know, adding a lot of colour that's not normally possible with just normal white or red light. So. Yeah, no, that's that's brilliant. So uh, hopefully some of those tips will inspire you to... So I've just uh, seen involved. one, David Yeoman. Hello, David. Hello. I'm glad you haven't told us we're wrong yet. Um, still time. Oh, he says, I've got a razor sharp tongue. I think that was when you were talking about cutting out the uh, gobo things. Um, and he also says, put a light on a drone and fly it around the tree. Yeah. Sounds like a good one, doesn't it? Yeah, and a good excuse for me to buy a drone for myself for Christmas. Because <laughs> you didn't need any uh, extra reasons. No, and no one of my family watches this anyway, so they, they have enough of me anyway, but, you know, drone. <laughs> <laughs> Droning on about a drone. Droning on. No, I think that'd be quite cool to do a drone shot. The yeah, problem is, cool. like, you'd have to have quite a strong one or one that didn't have... You know, not a heavy torch. Yeah, or well, you could just do it around an outside tree and turn that into a Christmas tree with the shape mm. that you do. There's loads of things that you can do. I wonder if you could program it in, you know, to fly a certain path going like... I'm sure you could. That'd be very cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm just going, oh, you've got me thinking, this, I want a drone now. how much time you want to put into these things. I want a drone now. We'd love to see some of your Christmas experiences. Yeah, definitely. Doing it, so. If you've got any now that you can dig out because you're really organised and you have your Lightroom catalogue just <laughs> like bang, 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 yeah. put some in the comments. Yeah, we'd love Otherwise, to we'll wait until next, no, week after. Yeah. Keep thinking Christmas is next week, and it is. Yeah. But it's just on the weekend almost, isn't it? Yeah, no, it certainly is. So, But... um. There's a few more uh, comments. Yeah, Helen has got nice. um, food from uh, around the world. Sounds great. So hungry. And then she put like a million emojis. Yeah. Where Steve says, that's a lot of food, Helen, making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, Trish and Anne say hi. Hello. Um, and Anne says, catalogue. Sounds like being organized to me. The queen of chaos. <laughs> yeah. Um, Knives says he's got knives. So if we ever need a knife, that's fine. He also so, says, can I see how sharp my knives are on Joel's beard? 
The answer to that would be a resounding no. My wife would not be very pleased. No. Yeah. I'd, I'd always like to just... Whoosh, right, Crocodile cool. Dundee. Yeah, be a bit cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Graham says, evening. Hello. And uh, David says, the lack of dedication for a show next Friday. Well, speaking about that, yeah, we will be doing a show, just not on Christmas Day. We're going to do it on Christmas Eve, aren't we? We're going to do it on Christmas Eve. What time are we going to do it? We... What, what have we decided? We don't know. Okay. But but check out Facebook because yeah. it'll be on there. Um, and we'll probably put it up a bit quicker than we normally put the reminders up. Yeah, you know, maybe what? just a little bit. Just yeah. <laughs> so it'll be the maybe two days when, before. Maybe Wednesday, not Thursday. <laughs> maybe we should decide after this. Yeah, and then we can put it up. And we always decide after this, and then it still takes us like four days to put it up. Yeah. What can you do? We're a busy place. That's true. That's true. So, uh, but no, we will be doing a. It will be a Christmas special. Yep. Uh, we have some things planned, uh, yeah. other things unplanned, which we will finalise. <laughs> uh, but it's part of possibly uh, even finalise whilst we're talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know you can still direct. Uh, oh come on now! Is going to be. David's saying elf costumes for Christmas Eve. No, nope. nope. We're not taking stuff like that. <laughs> I might just stretch to a horrible, ugly jumper. Yeah, I can probably put a. I don't own any on. jumpers. No, that's not true. I own one, one jumper. All mine are inappropriate. For in what way? <laughs> they're, they're, no, I can't. They're, they're funny jumpers, aren't they? Are they? <laughs> well, to some people. <laughs> okay. But might be offensive to others. <laughs> so yeah, that's not where they. <laughs> Why has YouTube put us in the uh, explicit content yeah, category? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to have to look for one now. Yeah, Our oh, peacock has gone now. Yeah, I have to just be a, just be a hat. I'll, I'll find a hat. A hat. Okay, yeah. but I don't Not like Christmas wearing hat. Some... <laughs> Santa hat and some uh, uh, reindeer antlers. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Bells on. Yeah. Lights, maybe. Oh, what you could get is what that what our customer's dog had. Oh, yeah. Okay. One of the... <laughs> like a jester outfit. Yeah. But Christmas edition. A Christmas just outfit. Amazing. Um, oh, David says Grinch costume then. <laughs> <laughs> I just go to my wardrobe like in the Grinch. Have you seen the new Grinch? The no, I haven't. No. Oh, my son loves it. But he, like, he goes through his uh, wardrobe and he's just got Grinch, like furry, just puts that on over Everything. what he's already wearing because he's already yeah. green and furry. Nice. Not quite sure how that works, but anyway. Yeah, maybe a Grinch costume. What's green? We'll just wrap a tarp around you. Yeah, there we go. So. <laughs> green tarp. And, uh, Guaranteed there'll be maximum effort. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say minimum effort? <laughs> maximum. Craig says, uh, fellas and a cheeky little monkey. Hello. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. I can imagine what Craig is thinking about things that we could wear. Yeah. But um, don't put in the comments, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> don't go to R-rated very quickly. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, you've got me thinking now. Yeah. Well, we're going to do something. And yeah. We're going to do it. So. Oh, also on Christmas, given that we live in Wales. Yes. Love Wales. Um, but we've just been told about the new rules, haven't yeah. we? So, so we will be open. Um, we're open tomorrow, 10 till 4. Then Monday, we're open 10 till 6. Yeah. Tuesday, 10 till, 10 till 6. Wednesday, with 10 sticks. till 6 with sticks. Apparently, are they like candy sticks, candy canes? Don't be promising things that we can't mm, remember. And spies. <laughs> At least I know you won't eat them all. Um, like Krispy Kremes. Oh no, that's Harry. <laughs> and then um, on Christmas Eve, ten till four. Yeah. And then that's it. And that Not forever. A, no. Uh, hopefully, only three weeks. But it's a rolling thing, yes. isn't it? Like every three weeks, they'll check. So, whilst. We can't have people coming into the shop. We can still do click and collect. We yeah. can do drop off and we can do deliveries UK wide, even to like parts of uh, Europe as well. Yeah. And so we are open. <clears throat> 100%. We will be here. Somebody will be answering the phones yeah. and somebody answering the emails. Yeah. Somebody answering Facebook Messenger and, and the website as, Messenger. Just as hard as we always do. And um, have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we've had a little bit of practice about. Locking down. Yeah. Uh, Getting quite so, good at it now. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, with that. So we will actually be here. So um, and it's something that you know I've mentioned sort of before. We won't be closed. Yep. We will be open. Yep. It just our lab will still be running. Yeah. We can still print everything that we need to. We can still develop film that we need to. We can still do inkjet prints. We can still do VHS conversion. We can still do scans, copying. What else do we do? A lot do of things. Lot we of can things. basically everything we can do, we still will do, yeah. but you might just have to drop it off yeah. and not come into the shop. So it'll be drop off and collection that we'll we'll take payment available. over the phone. Yeah. So uh, everything will be done by cash in an envelope. Only. Yeah. <laughs> Straight into the till. So uh, everything will be arranged. Uh, you'll need to call us uh, or drop us an email. But if you're unsure about anything, you can, like Joel said, just contact it as in many different ways as you want. So if you need to spend your Christmas money, yeah, we'll still be here. We're here. We can hear yeah. help with that. We can help you with your photography addiction. Yeah. Passion, hobby. <laughs> but uh, we'll mention it next week as well. Yep. So but we probably won't hold on it too much because it'll be Christmas Eve. Uh, when we when we do next week so yeah uh, yeah that's brilliant so uh just before we wrap up uh, um any final thoughts for this weekend before we break up for the weekend no but you've got me thinking about what i'm going to do for christmas in yeah. terms of photographically but yeah and no. if, if there's anything that hasn't mentioned obviously Pop in the myself comments. and joel uh like really getting into what we're going to do over christmas as well so uh, if you've got anything that uh, you guys want us to try uh please drop them into the comments and uh We'll have a go. So we're we're wanting to play about over Christmas with our. Oh no, are we getting we stuff. getting photographic homework now. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> How did be, you do that? Yeah, shouldn't we be the ones giving out the homework? Yeah, exactly. But it's we're asking it for the other way around this time. So let us know what you want us to do. We can yeah. we can crack on and do it. So. Sounds good. Um, yeah. So uh, as as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, big big thank you to everyone watching live. It's always love to actually have you here live. Uh, please like and share this video as much as you possibly can. The more you do, the more it helps us grow this lovely channel that we're making. Uh, make sure you go onto our Facebook and YouTube pages and subscribe. Hit the bell for the notifications so you know when we go live. Exciting and times ahead. It certainly is. And uh, so we won't be back next Friday. No, but Thursday. Because Friday we is Christmas. And we don't think we'd have uh, significant others any longer. Yeah. Might get told off well, well we didn't even have a conversation about it really did we it's just like we're not going live on christmas no. day oh, um, but what, what we could do is a pre-record of the christmas speech there's the queens and then there's cambrians okay <laughs> <laughs> what we got on the beep as well yeah straight after that'd be great yeah. or itv because they have anton deck yeah maybe we're not allowed on itv maybe maybe the bbc needs anton deck <laughs> yeah. Or another version, a bearded version. Yeah. No, I don't. Or Channel 4. Okay. You know? I'm just going to go through down all the channels now. <laughs> we'll go on to Dave. <laughs> At least we'll get repeated several times. Oh, yeah. That's all that we <laughs> wish for. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday at a specified time that we haven't <laughs> yet realized yet. So thank you very much and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye bye. bye.